Hey everybody, Matthew Olmigan here, coming to you live from Clark County, the crown jewel of Wisconsin, or at least northern central Wisconsin, am I right? So I'm not only Matthew Olmigan of the Old Plain Partnership for Integrated Conservation, but I'm also Matthew Olmigan for Short Lane Egg Supply, an independent egg retailer located in northern central Wisconsin. So I'm out here on... One of my dad's fields outside of our business and I kind of like to tinker with things and I tried something out it's not groundbreaking but it would be pretty new for our area some interseeding but not into corn nope I did interseeding into soybeans as you can see right here this is a conventional tilt system it's still a minimalized system because our rotation is uh, with small grains getting no tilled after soybeans typically. But um, I do believe that this will be going into corn. But anyway, back to this. So this is winter rye. I interseeded this anywhere from the range of 75 to 100 pounds an acre. And I interseeded this when the leaves were starting to yellow and drop. And I just took a little broadcaster and I put it on there. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? check that out and it's not slouch rye either it is quite large and in charge as you can see right there and it's thicker than the hair on a dog's back just really nice stuff so the purpose of having this cover crop out here is we're capturing sunlight and putting it into this field, the energy of the sun. And we're also sucking CO2 out of the air and putting that into the ground as well. But we're also providing living roots for the soil, as well as a carpet green for the soil surface. But let me show you what I mean. So... This will have great water holding capacity. It has great weed suppression. It helps break up the water droplets and holds the top of the soil in place as runoff and melt-off is happening compared to, you know, just the little bit of soybean stubble that you have. It's good, but it's not as good as this. And I'll show you why, because I totally walked past my dirt pile. Here it is. So I took a shovel full from, obviously, right here where it was green, and well, bam right over there where it was bare. Can we tell which one? Well, it's a giveaway, it's right there. But look at that. Where I shoveled with no living rut, it's blocky. It can't even hold itself together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Look at that. And when you try to break it up, it's just in big chunks. We have lots of worm action. I was trying to find a piece. We have lots of worm action. So that's good. Nature's tillers. Bring it down debris, what have you. But just imagine the struggle, the pain that a plant must have trying to get through this. Ugh, am I right? Now, let's look at this one with the living root. We're protecting the top. But look at all of that. Look at all that great looking roots underneath there, right? And then we get these fine little things. Nice soil stability, little aggregates. And look at how that holds it together. But except right there, do you see this? That is the compaction layer, that is the tillage layer. So in a conventional tilled system is anywhere from four to six inches. Cause that is where about where the end of the chisel plow comes down. And that's why that kind of broke there. But anyway, you can see that even with that compaction layer, it's still pretty tough. But all this right here, see that? It's holding itself together solid, but yet it's nice and fine. And that is the difference. And that is why it's important that you want to have living cover. Yeah. So... 
that was one of the things I did here. I would love to replicate this. This was really easy. I mean, granted, I did it with like a little push spreader thing, but you could do this with like a fertilizer spreader, narrow wheel. You load up 75 to 125 pounds of just rye. That will fling just fine. And you do it right when the, it's yellowing. Weather is comfortable. The ground is solid. And you don't have to chase that fine window in the fall like you do with corn silage or, you know, what have you. I think we're on to something. But anyway, I just wanted to share. If you're digging what we're talking about in this video, why don't you hit the little like button there down at the bottom and share this with your friends. And thank you for watching.